Hey guys, what's up? I'm Kevin from Relax and Learn Guitar, where I teach others that are over 40 how to play the guitar so they can relax, have some fun, be part of a great online community. We're doing a little John Prine in this lesson. Before we get started, I just want to thank you for your support and for subscribing to Relax and Learn Guitar. This is a lesson on Dear Abby by John Prine, one of his greatest and funniest songs. I want to play it a little bit for you, and then we'll talk about it, break it down, and I'll teach you how to play it. Uh, the good thing is you just need three chords for this one, so another three chords in the truth. You need a G chord. I'm pretty much just playing that with three fingers. You can play, you can play with four fingers if you want. Tom Carpenter's here. Hey, what's up, Tom? You need a C chord. And the D chord. G, C, D. That's all you need for a lot of tunes, including this one. And so I'll play this one a little bit uh, for you and then we'll talk about it. So this is a little Dear Abby. Hope you like it. Dear Abby, dear Abby, my feet are too long. My hair is falling out and my rights are all wrong. My friends, they all tell me I've no friends at all. Won't you write me a letter? Won't you give me a call? Sign, bewildered. Bewildered, bewildered, you have no complaint. You are what you are and you ain't what you ain't. So listen up, Buster, and listen up good. Stop wishing for bad luck and knocking on wood. Sign, dear Abby. Dear Abby, dear Abby, my fountain pen leaks. My wife hollers at me and my kids are all freaks. Every side I get up on's the wrong side of bed. The weren't so expensive, I'd wish I was dead. Sign, unhappy. Unhappy, unhappy, you have no complaint. You are what you are and you ain't what you ain't. So listen up, Buster, and listen up good. Stop wishing for bad luck and knocking on wood. Sign, sign, dear Abby. So we're going to play this strum pattern. We're going to be using the roots of each chord. So for this G chord, you're going to hit the sixth string, which is the G note and the root of that chord. You're going to hit the uh, note once, the sixth string once, and then a pretty fast down up, down up. That's the basic uh, rhythm of the song and the strum pattern for the song. I'm just muting it and slowing it down. Bass, down, up, down, up, bass, down, up, down, up. And when you're playing that quick down, up, down, up, you're hitting mostly like first, second, third, maybe the fourth string. Could be strings four, three, and two. Not super precise. And you're gonna tap your toe with this song for sure. And typically when we talk about tapping our toe, our, it's kind of dragging our hand down to strum. Your toe's gonna hit the ground and tap on the ground with each of these bass notes or these root notes. So if you can see my foot, it's just bass, down, up, down, up, bass, down, up, down, up. So the toe's hitting the ground. And the down, up, down, up's coming between. That G chord is a six string root. The C is a fifth string root, so you're gonna hit the fifth string, which is the C note. And for that D, we're gonna play the fourth string as the, it might help if I hit the fourth string, you're gonna hit the fourth string as the root. So six on the G, five on the C, four on the D. And you have, uh, starts on G, 
tap that toe. Dear Abby, dear Abby, my C or 2G, my hair's falling out and my D's are too wrong. My rights are all wrong, but D's are too wrong, or all wrong. He plays that D chord there, I think, three times. Let's see. three times. My G, they all tell me that I've seen a friends of G. Won't you write me a letter? Won't you D me a G? And then, uh, and if you notice, what we do, we did Paradise last month. Very similar chord structure and um, pattern to it. Uh, different key. So like I said, if you're going to play this one with a record, use a capo on the fourth fret. And then for that last part of the each uh, verse and chorus where he's sign, I like to drag that out a little bit. Just strum down one time on the C chord. Sign. So you're using the C and the D for that one long word. Sign. Bewildered or unhappy or just married. I forget what the other one is. Noise maker, where he talks about his stomach making noises. Anyway, um, so you have the G structure. So G twice to a C once to a G. Hang on that G. D. Back to the G. C. G. D. G. S. For that bewildered and for the Dear Abby at the end. He, uh, from what I can tell, most of the time, he hits the bass note, goes down up, down up, and then just strums down once, and then down up, down up. So it sounds like this. As opposed to this. Hear the difference? He does that at the end of each of the verse and choruses for that bewildered or the grabby part. Randy. And you have, hey, what's up, Randy? Glad you made it. Randall. And then for the chorus, back to the C. Bewildered, bewildered, you have no complaint. Same structure as the verse, two Gs, one C, and one G. You are what you are, and you ain't what you ain't. So it's the back to the G. You are what you are, and you, and he says ain't. Ain't what you ain't is the D. Three times. Then so listen up, Buster, is back to the G. And listen up, good. So those G's happen a lot. He just intertwines the C's and the D's to break it up a little bit. So listen up, Buster, and listen up good. Stop wishing for bad luck and knocking is D, knocking on wood. And then sign. Drag it out, make it a little dramatic pause. Dear Abby. So you have C, D, Dear Abby. Remember, bass down up, down up, down, down up, down up, bass down up, down up, down, down up, down up. So, hope that makes sense so far. Let me if you have any questions. If you'd like to learn even more John Prine, I'll leave a link in the description or in the card above, and you can check out another John Prine tune, which is Paradise. Great song if you haven't seen it yet. So I hope you liked that lesson. If you did, make sure you press the thumbs up button. If you've not yet subscribed to Relax Learn Guitar here on YouTube, please do so. And you'll get notifications for all of my lessons. And I'll leave a link in the description below so you can sign up for more free lessons I'll send right to your inbox to help you start relaxing and learning guitar all the time, which is a great thing to do. And I'll see you guys for the next lesson.